Welcome to the iSCuff Design main tutorial part 2. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build to 3D, get a quotation and material list, as well as how to lay out your iSCuff drawing on a drawing sheet. We will start with building our drawing to 3D. To build 3D, click on the Build 3D icon in the Build panel. We'll click Yes to save as block for the drawing sheet and right click to build all the components to 3D. And the system will now start building a true 3D model of the scaffold for us to view in 3D. The build to 3D is now complete. We can save the 3D model by clicking on the IceCAF drop down menu then selecting Save As and then 3D and the file name of the drawing will change to Tutorial1.3D. We can also generate a parts list or a bill of materials once we have the 3D drawing. To do this we can either click on the quote icon which is displayed as a pen and paper or we can click on the IceCAF drop down menu then click on Queries then Quote. Here we can left click and select the parts we would like the quote on or right click on the drawing to generate a quote of all the materials used in the drawing. A new window with a list of items and quote will appear. For the bill of materials we will have all the selected components with their quantity, weight and total amount. At the top we also have a lineal meterage yardage or feet, the area and the volume with the grand totals displayed at the very bottom. We can also view it on a browser page or print it by then clicking on quote then print and it will display it on a browser page. We can close this window and click OK to close the quote window. We can view our 3D drawing on the iSCAF by selecting the appropriate icon on the view panel. Alternatively, we can view our drawing on an angle by using the DP and DV commands. We can type in the command DV to view the 3D drawing from an angle. By scrolling the mouse and dragging the drawing, we can pan, rotate, zoom in and zoom out to view the drawings from different angles and directions. We can professionally lay out this drawing on the title block in a drawing sheet. We can select the paper size be it A2, A3 or A4. Please note that IceCuff supports imperial sizes as well. We can then go into IceCuff drop down menu then click on plot setup then the layout drawing sheet. Your company logo can be customised to appear on the drawing sheet along with your title block. Put in the project details, drawing, number, the scale and who drew the drawing. These are your custom company logo or custom title block information you can put in. We've got templates already predefined. Click OK and we basically zoom into an area we can now see the title block with our company logo. Back to the plot setup, I can now insert our plan drawing. To do this, go into the IceCuff drop down menu, plot setup, then click on insert section or plan drawing. Click on the plan drawing, then let's just make it 1 to 200 scale and drag it to the position you want it. The section marker that we created earlier has automatically been added here and so we can add that section in. Simply insert the section just like we inserted the plan drawing. We can see that the section is automatically created and that section is based on the marker that we created earlier, section A. We can put our 3D drawing on the sheet as well as by going into IceCuff drop down menu once again plot setup then create viewport. You can select one view from the list of standard viewports. 
Select the area you'd like the drawing to be placed and now we have created a view. This can be any view we like, so we can go in and pretty much zoom into any particular area or scroll around on any angle that we want, just like we did before. And now we can create another view in 3D. Let's create another view like that. And again, by just holding down the shift key and the mouse wheel, we can rotate this to any direction we like. Here is our example of our final drawing. We can move things around and if we want to, we can always manually label our drawing by typing in whatever text we want and of course change colour and font if we want to. We can always select the text and right click and go into properties where we can for example change the height of the text to increase its size and other factors as well. We can delete the text by selecting the text and pressing the delete button. As well as that, you can always add a pointer to a specific area on your drawing and labeling it by clicking on the eye leader icon in the annotation panel and specifying the starting point and ending point of the leader, then adding text. We can also delete it by selecting it and pressing the delete key. So here we have the final drawing on an A4 page. You can always go back to our model page to go back to our main drawing by clicking on the model tab at the bottom. Finally, as discussed earlier, I would also like to show you how accurate our parts list is. We can customize the system so that iScaf will generate a custom parts list because we understand that companies differ in terms of region, scaffold manufacturers, types of parts and even methods of construction. The way we customize the system to suit what you need is we can go and interrogate right down to the individual piece level. Therefore, if we zoom into a particular area, for example, you may decide you want to use a certain type of transom different to the normal components used in this area. So if we click on our quote button to generate the material list, we can window individual items to get an accurate measure of any set of items that we select. For example, if we just create a window around these two ledgers and if we manually select that upright and we right click we basically have a material list for just that window. So if you were to think that our system was not generating an accurate parts list, you can always look at the 3D drawing and say, for example, in this area, we need these components. And in this area, we may need these other components. And that's how we go about customizing things. A good way to illustrate this is if we rotate the drawing to have a closer look at this ladder tower. As you can see, we have two ladders there. I can then interrogate that by clicking on the quote, selecting a ladder, and that tells us that that is a 4.8 meter ladder with two double couplers. If I do the same thing, I select the ladder below. We can see that that's a 3.6 meter ladder with two double couplers. That's how we interrogate the individual parts of the drawing. Finally, we want to highlight the fact that almost all drop-down menu options in IceCAF contain an equivalent option on the IceCAF ribbon. From left to right, we have the File, Panel, Save options. You can name your drawing with the Save As option and you can save as Perimeter, Plan, 3D and Final. When you mouse over each icon, you can see the tooltip that shows what the icon action is. We have the Build Panel options and also the shortcuts in the Quote and View panel are also useful since I showed you the drop-down equivalents to these earlier.
scaffolding software recommends the use of the ribbon as a preference instead of the drop down menu. This basically concludes an overview of the system. As a client, we will give you full access to more iSCAF tutorials. Thank you for watching.